Hi guys and good afternoon. My name is Glenn with Mr. Crafty Man <clears throat> and our project for today um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some pens and we're going to be putting these in the Glowforge and we will engrave them. I did one here but I kind of did a little bit fine so I don't know if you can see the text on it. Let me zoom in here and see if you can see it. I don't think you can. It's really fine. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to do one and we're going to do kind of a, a much bolder font on it. So these pens here are wooden pens and anytime we put something in the Glowforge, which is made of wood, um, what we have got to do is we have got to put masking tape on it. And the reason why we put the masking tape on it is because if we don't, the laser will kind of scorch the area around where it is engraving. So these here are actually some of the the items that I'm giving out to uh, some of my friends and and family as uh, Christmas gifts this year. Aren't you glad uh, you're not on my list? I won't give them to my kids though, so they'll be glad that, uh, that they are on my list. So what we do is you just saw I put masking tape around the area that uh, that I'm going to engrave so I protect the wood. Then we are going to go over to the Glowforge and we'll place this inside the Glowforge and then we'll go over to the computer and we'll do our designing. So I will see you at the Glowforge. Okay, so we're over here at the Glowforge so let's go ahead and open it up and we will place our pen. And I put this grid inside here myself because it helps me line things up a little bit easier. Okay, so we have got the pen in there and lined up. So now let's go over to the computer and we will do our design. Okay, so we're at the computer, and the neat thing about the Glowforge is it has a camera inside of it. So the pen we laid down inside there on the mat, we can see right here. Now, what I would like to do really quick is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on Set Focus. And I'll just select an area on the pen. And you just heard the Glowforge move over there, and it's focusing right now. And this is just so we can get a better, uh, a better image. Okay. So now we're going to go up here and I'm going to click T for text. And I will type in a name. Okay, so we've got a pretty pretty bold font here. And let's drag it over here to the pen and we'll size it. This is another really neat thing about this Glowforge is we can just set whatever we're working on right on top of it. So that looks pretty good. You can see it in red here. Now what we have got to do is we have got to tell the Glowforge what we're working with. So we're going to go up here and we're going to tell it that it's an uncertified material because Glowforge makes their own materials that they like to sell. So we're using something not certified. So we're going to say use uncertified material and we're going to say Let's see, let's, let's leave it at the, the half inch. And then we're going to go over here 
and we have to click on what we just put in and put some settings in. So we want to engrave. Then we'll go down to manual and for our speed let's go let's go about 700 but for our power I want to go 100 because the last one of these that I did that one I showed you you could barely see there were two reasons for that one of the reasons was because I did it in such a fine uh, font the other reason is because I had the power at something like 60 so we're going to set it at 100 and we're going to have a nice bold dark image here Okay, then we're going to go over and right up here we're going to click print. And what it's doing now is it's rendering. Okay, see how it says it's going to be 42 seconds? Now what we want to do is we want to go back to our pen here. Kind of difficult to see and make sure that our lettering is still there and it is and it's exactly where we want it so let's head back over to Glowforge um, this should take us 42 seconds to print all right so we're back at the craft table and we have got our pen here I'm gonna zoom in on this Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we've got to take this masking tape off of it now. And then once the tape is off of it, we will see our finished product. Okay, just about got it all. Um, sometimes the little, the A's and the O's, anything that has a little circle, you've got to pick the extra tape out of. Because when the laser goes through and it engraves, it kind of cuts around it. Okay, so. This here is our finished product. And it turned out pretty nice. All right, so I am back now. So I've got probably about a hundred of these pens to make uh, within the next couple days here, probably by Wednesday. Um, I think they're they're kind of a neat little Christmas gift. Everybody likes getting something that's customized. And I bought these on Amazon by going in and um, just searching on Amazon laser engraving blanks. And this was one of the things that came up. And the Glowforge is so good at, uh, at doing this type of thing. I have the, the Laser Pecker 2, which I made an unboxing video, I think, last week of that. And I have been doing a little bit of, uh, little bit of laser engraving with that, too. Um, it's quite a bit quicker to use, but it doesn't have the capabilities of the Glowforge. And it doesn't do everything as, as fine as the, uh, the Glowforge does. So what I want to do for next week's craft, um, and I may end up posting it a little bit early this week because Christmas is on Sunday and um, normally craft afternoon is on Sunday afternoons. Um, but I do have uh, Friday, I'm taking Friday off and I'm taking Saturday off as well. Uh, so I can probably knock it out one of those days. But what this is, is it's a cutting board. And I buy these cutting boards at uh, Michael's. And also Hobby Lobby has a good selection of stuff too. Um, but what we're going to do with this is I want to laser engrave it kind of like I did on this one. And I did this one for my daughter-in-law. And basically it's kitchen conversions. And this still has the tape on it because my daughter-in-law is kind of funny like that 
anything that I make her, she said to leave the tape on because she wants to pull it off herself. So that's why there's some areas that look scorched, but once the tape comes off, you'll see that they're actually not scorched. But it has, uh, like this one here, it says one gallon is four quarts, is eight pints, is 16 cups, is 128 ounces, is 3.8 liters. So basically, all of these different little things on here have different kitchens and kitchen conversions. So that is what I want to, to make next week. Um, and then on the bottom I put, nothing says loving like something from the oven. And I put my daughter-in-law's name on it. So we will be back uh, later in the week and we will make a, uh, a cutting board. So thank you for joining me. I don't have a ton of subscribers yet. I think there's only uh, something like five or 6,000 of you. And a lot of you are here for the kidney videos and not the craft videos. Um, also what we're gonna do uh, in the video later in the week is I'm going to have my wife Petra in and she's going to show you some of her knitting and crochet projects that she's working on. She doesn't think she's very good at it, but every everybody that sees it thinks that she's excellent. I mean, she she does uh, like she crochets pants and and jackets and hats and just all sorts of stuff. I I think she's really good, but I might be biased. So anyway, I would appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe. Um, Comment on the video with anything you might like to see me make with either the iColor 560, the Glowforge, uh, or the Cricut Maker, and I will see what I can do for you. So I appreciate you watching, and have a great crafternoon.